Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go talk to this light over here and find out who it is. Although you probably know, yeah, another spirit of light at another spirit spring. With a lot of bloom on the waterfall, by the way. <laughs> Guess what we have to do? Yep! More Tears of Light! I still like doing these, even though some people don't seem to. I don't get- I still don't get that, really. <laughs> I'll get through these quickly in this part. Well, as quickly as it feels good to do so. I don't want to go too quickly of a pace that I would miss some of the exclusive stuff in this area. I should be clicking through his dialogue because he talks really, really slow. You know the drill, look on your map, you can see a bunch of dots on there, and follow each dot to go to where you're going to want to go to first. In this case, I'm going to go around here, and, hello, I shouldn't obsessively dig into these things, because I'll be digging so many holes around the landscape. <laughs> Wait a second, I think, oh yeah, I get up there through here. I should say on top of there like that, and then you just stand on here. Whoops! And yeah, that's how you get in here. There's someone important here. Use your senses. Look who it is. Exactly who we're looking for. Missing one though, Ilya. Well, he sure is an optimist. <laughs> and he's scaring the crap out of the kids as a result. Oh, poop. I think I would do the same as him. I was gonna say his name, but I didn't want to right away because I, that would be sort of a spoiler. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Renato. <clears throat> oh. You heard the man. Let's do this. What? Oh, poop. I'm closer than they think, that's for sure. Why aren't you the optimist as well? <laughs> And that's exactly what we have to do first. Well, you don't have to do it first, but as long as we're here. Pick up the stick. You can light it by walking into the candle by using the stick to touch it. It's very similar to Deku's sticks 
in uh, Ocarina of Time. Just jump right across to light the candles one by one while hugging the wall. Very, very simple. They're gonna be like, what? How did you do that? What else do you have to say about the statue randomly moving? <laughs> Nah. All right, drop down here, and you'll notice the dots are on this part of the map. That's what we're looking for. Ugh. Attack! Attack! Get all three! Get all three! Yeah! There's some stuff to dig for. Might as well look at that for the heck of it. Heart, don't need that. Gimme! And you two. What is this? And there's some unknown uh, graphics on there. Uh, remember this statue, just saying to remember that. That's kind of important later. Anyway, we're gonna move on here. And Midna alerts you. Boop. I think you know how to do this by now. And you pop out of this well at the graveyard. There's one insect here, if I'm not mistaken. I believe, yeah, it's underground. Come on. Dick, dick. Come on. I can do it. There we go. And did not mean to do that. <laughs> e. I'm more concerned about the insect than the, the thing that's actually attacking me. <laughs> it's just how things go, I suppose. Ah, uh, there we go. There's a pearl. I don't think there's anything else over here of interest right now. Mm. Yeah, I think I'll just come back here later. I can show you around the area a little bit though. Now you can't really do much of anything. Okay, let's just go. <laughs> so once you leave this particular area, you'll actually end up behind the building that we infiltrated. It's funny, they didn't notice when we plopped down from the ceiling and all that debris came down on top of them from inside there. It's kind of weird. <laughs> anyway, let's move over here. Oh, Midnight Midna was alerting me to go up over there again, but I already did that. I need to do that again. And hello, where did you come from? Doesn't really matter because you're not here anymore. <laughs> oh, seriously? Up, way up there is going to be a drop. I'm not even going to bother. Alright, want to go and jump across here, up to this platform, and go inside the house. A lot of pearls are... Uh, pearls? A lot of tears are inside houses. And, ow. Mm, yeah, I thought so. Pick up a stick. Go up here. This was the house that I was thinking of when I said I thought so. And, like that, it'll get a little bit too hot for it. <laughs> I drop the stick, it won't cause a house fire, don't worry. These houses are totally fireproof, you will never have to worry about that whatsoever. And boop. Wait, I should be doing this. That's way more efficient. Oh, dang it. You were still stunned, so I couldn't hurt you. I should always remember to hold that B button for the insta-kill. Alright, go upstairs. And I just instinctively attacked it. I did not mean to do that so quickly. I want to do that. And the bug that we are looking for is behind one of these, I think. Or I think I just scared it off the wall. Maybe it was on the other side of the room. Well, in any case, you can drop those uh, cabinets down and uh, let them tell you what a blue rupee is again. <laughs> So that was the bug that I apparently scared off the wall from the other side. I don't think there's any more in here, so I could probably leave. Because I believe that's just a dead end. I'll, I'll be able to tell when I get back outside, of course. And wait, how do I get... Oh, that's right, I have to climb up here. I have paws, not hands, so I can't use the ladder. <laughs> Never take your hands for granted. When I mean, you could be turned into a wolf one day and not even, not even expect it. Uh, I believe to get inside this one, there's something to dig into or 
go under? I don't remember. <laughs> was it off to the side? Yes. It wasn't something to dig into, you just crawl inside. So, go up here, see some wolf butts. And senses are tingling. Mm. Gimme, gimme, gimme! Why does the why does the tear appear so high in the air and then fall the back down to you? Why doesn't it pop out of the insect itself? I never really understood that. It makes it a little inconvenient to collect the tears. But anyway, it's just a minor inconvenience. Um oh, I think I want to go up here and then jump across a few roofs. Fall down here! <laughs> That's another one of those things. <laughs> so now we're inside another house. And I believe I push this. Voila! Give me your tear once it falls back down to earth. It's too bad you can't jump at, at will as well. Um. Sounds good. I didn't see any more dots in that building, so... Gotta leave. Um... I'm gonna kill you. And you t <laughs> Anyway, I'll, I'll just... I, I, I meant to do that on purpose, in case you couldn't tell. I just wanted to do that for comedic value. And you guys are back. So I'm just going to leave you alone this time, and... This is climbable. And... Oh! Oh, watch this! I'm going to break that, but not actually jump through the window while breaking while breaking it. This is... This is quite interesting. Just watch this. The cutscene does not take that into consideration. See, the window is already broke. Now let's jump inside. It acts as if I broke the window to jump inside, which is how it's normally supposed to work. But I sort of cheesed it by attacking the edge rather than the uh, um, center of it. This doesn't seem very good. I probably should not whip out my lantern if I have it in here. Eh, eh. Tear, please! Oh, and in case you don't realize, to knock down the uh, dressers and stuff like that, you just hit the wall next to them. If you, ha if you hit the dresser itself, it'll fall on you and you'll take damage. Sort of a I want to be the guy kind of trap. <laughs> But you only fall for it once, and it doesn't kill you, so it's more humorous than anything. Um, so now we're way up here. This is the only way to get up here at this point, by the way, so... Keep that in mind. Over here, you can see the lightning bug going into here. The shadow insect. Yeah, I know, a shadow insect. I just wanted to say lightning bug, just because it's a pun name. Wait, was I able to dig in that hole over there? Looks like I could have dug there. Alright, so now we got another one in the, the chimney. You'll notice that you cannot do anything about that. It's just stuck in there, so I think you know what to do at this point. Remember I said that the houses weren't flammable? Well, I was joking about that. <laughs> like that. Oh, poop! <laughs> I'm with you. Go, 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 enter! Oh jeez, explosion! That would actually hurt you if you were stuck in there. Well, it's not enter, it's more like exit. <laughs> Whoopsie doodle! But that's what you're supposed to do. Pretty unique way to uh, kill a bunch of shadow insects, though. Those tears are laughing so hard they're crying. Yeah, I'm afraid so. Eh. There we go. Three more to add to our collection. Only four more to go. There is one up here, which you gotta take this path to get up there. And then there is another one at a totally different area than the village. I'll show that last, just because it's a complete and total dead end. <laughs> and right here, right? Yeah. I just noticed the cut on the side of the, not cut, a crack on the side of the house. And let's look around. Oh, there we go. 
not even it breaks parts on its own. That's pretty interesting. I didn't know they could do that. I just locked onto that because it seemed like something was in there, and I was right. <laughs> and back out here. I have to say the game looks really cool when you're in senses mode, like. The, the f effect on the screen. The only reason why I don't have it up all the time is because it obscures your vision. Like, you see how much more vision you have when you're not in sense mode. So that's the reason why I turn it off every once in a while. Anyway, now you want to go over here. You can look at this sign that is glowing with bloom. <laughs> it's, it's blooming so much that it's hard to uh, read that. Uh, I think it's Hylian text that's on here. If you can read Hylian. <laughs> And go through this path, and you'll notice on your map, well, when the map comes up again, that the last three pearls are... Pearls! Dang it, I said pearls again. Why do I keep saying pearls? Tears are along this path. Sounds good to me. So yeah, there's this right here. Ladders down. So you go up to here. Midna's gonna be like, ee hee 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 And then you're like, oh ho 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 ho. Who is this? It is a Goron! But who it is, I don't know. <laughs> and why do they want to keep the humans away? We're friendly peeps. Hmm. Interesting, isn't it? Let's move on. And I'm just going to completely ignore you guys. I don't feel like fighting you. <laughs> Maybe I'll attack you guys because you guys will make it harder for me to get up there. With those uh, shadow vermin. No trouble whatsoever. There really isn't much you can do in the twilight while you're in... Oh, actually, is I could do this. See that glowing stone over there? Listen. This is sort of a little song mini-game. Listen to what it is. I believe it is the Song of Healing, actually. Anyway, when you're ready, press A to howl, and then if you want a high note, press up on the control stick while that beam is going across the, uh, uh, I don't, how do I, what is it, anyway? <laughs> it's, it's like a music sheet, but it's definitely not note-based. Just follow the path of those glowing lights to play, I believe it is the Song of Healing from Majora's Mask. One of my most hated games of all time. Maybe I'll make a video on why that is, but I don't want to kill your mood by uh, talking about that in this video, so I will just howl the night away. That one sounds rather beautiful, but some of these, they sound awful, <laughs> and I'm going to be picking fun at them as they come up. If you don't recognize that that's that wolf that you've seen earlier that taught you uh, the ending blow sword technique, now it's going to make a mark on your map to be able to find where you unlocked him again. I'm going to do it in a second. There we go. This is back at the Ordon Woods. Remember the spring? Yeah, it's right there. This is the village area right there. Go north. There's a spring. If you want to get that, you can always go back to that after you leave the twilight. But I'm probably only going to go and get that when I go back to the area in general. Wait, where is the insect? Oh, it's on the ground. No wonder I didn't see it. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to pinpoint it on the map, but it just wasn't working, man. Oh, this uh, steam right here, it stuns you and can knock you off ledges, but it doesn't hurt you. So just keep note of that. I should say I uh, remember that. Anyway, keep following this path. And you can go through it rather recklessly, even though steam is all over the place. 
I can't even say owl here. <laughs> because it doesn't hurt whatsoever. Need some crates. I don't need that at all. This is Death Mountain. We'll be exploring here completely a little bit later. Alright, but for now, let's clear out these beasts, literally. The first one you want to take care of is the one inside this pen, like that, because it's way out of the way, and as you know, if you leave one alive, the other ones will recover due to their shrieks. Come on, you over? Come on, you, come here. Ow. I want everyone in the group. Here we go. And that's how it's done. Oh man, this part's going on for a while, and I said I didn't want to make longer parts, but eh, it's so nice to have the pearls all in a single part. I said the pearls again! What is wrong with me, and why do I keep saying pearls? There's no pearls in this game. <laughs> it's like once I say something wrong once, I can't stop saying it. It's so stupid of me. Next one. Wait, wait, wait. Did I miss an insect? Ah, I did. It was down here. Should have my senses on. Whenever you see an insect on a wall, you just want to shake it down by hitting the wall. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, what the heck hit me? <laughs> anyway, guess it doesn't matter in the end because there's only one left. Oh, by the way, watch for that steam when you make your jump across here, because that will knock you back and you won't be able to make your jump. The next one, climb up here carefully, and voila! Yeah! Bring up your sense. Oh, wait, actually, I think the next one is down there, so I don't have to talk to this guy or even go up here at all. Whoa! I forgot about that. And thank you for telling me what a yellow rupee is. I... I would not have known that by this point in the game. Yeah, you can't really do anything about that right now because that steam is in your way, but don't worry. That is not where you want to go. You want to go down here because the last insect is somewhere... Oh, I did knock it off, okay. And here you go. I should have left one alive, left one of those shadow vermin alive, because if you um, collect the last tier, I didn't say pearl, I said tier, if you collect the last tier while some of them are around, they will attack you during this cutscene. And you won't take damage. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. See, it's not that bad to get these tears. I don't know why people hate getting them so much. And I was really dilly-dallying around the area. Oh, don't worry, I won't. That's the things we're both looking for. Ooh! I'm so giddy! <laughs> Birdie! With a freaky face. <laughs> These light spirits are definitely unique creatures, that's for sure. It's got the body of a bird, but the face of a elder human. Well, sort of. That's up at Death Mountain, by the way. In case you can't tell by the angle and the lava and whatnot. No problem. I hope.
Wait, that's all you have to say, really? Hmm. Well, okay then. <laughs> that was a sudden way to end it off. Now that the twilight's been cleared, it is safe to go outside again, which means... Yup. Oh, poopers, that was mean. No one just looks and... <laughs> just moves on anyway. There we go. I like this next scene that comes up here. Just watch this. Nice to meet you. And this is... His daughter! <laughs> Just skips right over him. <laughs> I love that so much. That's how it is in the twilight for most, except for the hero, of course. Goron music, by the way. Ah, that brings back memories from Ocarina of Time. Well, Master Quest, my Master Quest walkthrough. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a good idea, I think. We gotta find out what's up with those Gorons. But I'm gonna be doing that in the next part. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you then.